Siemens IP Control Center Part 5 The Sample Project There is a pre-installed sample project on each IPCC in the X-Factory state. The purpose of this project is versatile. The customer can learn with it, he can use it in parts or entirely for his own project. It provides sample configuration for PCs or tablets as well as for smartphones. All shown controls in it use virtual data points, so they are all working only internally. Therefore, it is also a good means for presentation and demonstration of the features of the IPCC. Another advantage of this sample project is that its page dimensions are already widely adapted to the best sellers on the market. Navigation and components design is also determined already. They can be adopted or redesigned on customers' demand without big effort. So when you open the user index page of this project, you have three page navigators, tablet, smartphone free graphic or smartphone preset list view. Let's do the smartphone free graphic part first. It is split in four pages as a container navigation with an informative headline which remains unchanged if you choose another discipline page. The Siemens logo is actually an external website link which opens the Siemens Gamma homepage. In the center of the headline there is a container element for the display of different small pages in a circular sequence, which provides information about temperatures, time, date, window condition and air quality. On the right side of the headline, a label element is placed, which shows the selected room number, here room 1. Next to it, further right, the home button is placed. The operation page in the center consists also of a container element, with the navigation buttons at its bottom line. Four different user pages for light, blinds, HVAC and scene control are provided with a number of control and display elements, for example for switching light or value control, blinds operation and more. If you want to use them with your own project, simply replace the virtual process points by your own real objects or group addresses. Now let's proceed to the tablet visualization sample to have some impressions how this one works. Here's the start page. It is designed with a floor plan as background image. However, this image is not on the start page itself, but on another page, which is the default page in the container frame on the start page. So we also have a container navigation here with many link buttons arranged on the top and the left side. They all call up content, both internal as well as external, which is displayed inside the container. The home button always restores the default page with the floor plan and central controls for light and blinds. The following five buttons to the right open detail pages for individual room control. Here different options for the layout design are shown as suggestions. How you could place controls and feedback for the design of your own pages later. The start button leads back to the index page. Between the top link buttons and the container, a couple of info elements 
similar to the smartphone visualization are placed. Page independent. Here they are. Outside air temperature, wind speed, outside light illuminance level and the rain indicator. On the left control bar you find two external links. A webcam and the weather forecast which can both be posted in the frame. Hint. Not all web links can be embedded. It is a decision of the owner of such web pages to permit the embedding mode. Further on, scene control can be started. The scheduler opened for editing and the alarm page. Since all pages can be saved individually, you can use them in your own projects. Group links, however, will not be saved with pages. But this is not a mistake, but a precaution. If pages from other projects are used again, they should not have active function links right after import. These group or object links are the only changes or adaptations then which have to be made and your own visualization will work. Let's have a small example for such an adaptation. As we work in training with the Siemens Gamma Training Kit, this IP control center is connected to such a GTK. So now we want to change the virtual light control for smartphones into an active one for the GTK lights. The referred page is number 430 light smartphone. We mark the first icon, the incandescent light called ceiling light 1 and look into the properties. Instead of the virtual data point, we choose now from the OPC group address list the control address for conference light A on off, which is 110. In the page elements list view, on the left you see an asterisk after the component's name, which means this is an unsafe change. So now you can either wait until the autosave function works, shown by the red-green button at the bottom right, or use the save button at once. After that release the changed page once more for the browser, refresh the browser display and now it will work.